Hello everyone! Today we will be taking a look at the Ixalan Planeswalker deck for Huatli, the Dinosaur Knight. Now then, Huatli is uh, based on uh, Mesoamerican culture, uh, probably Aztec or In Incan or Mayan. And yeah, these are the natives of Ixalan. They ride dinosaurs, and uh, yeah, as you can see, she is riding a dinosaur. And apparently, on Ixalan, Planeswalkers cannot planeswalk away. Oh, that's a bit silly, isn't it? Um, so I, so yeah, I don't know if she is a native, as in born in Ixalan, or um, if she is simply a planeswalker traveling to these planes and not able to return. Who knows? I am guessing. Um, that she is uh, actually a native. As we see, um, there is actually one card that hints at uh, an upcoming Planeswalker, Minotaur. He is featured in the card uh, Hijack. He's also seen on some art on the front of boosters. And yeah, he's probably going to be in, um, in the next set. The Rivals of Ixalan. Right, so first off we have Huatli, the Dinosaur Knight, for 6 mana. We have a 4 loyalty Planeswalker, also Legendary Planeswalker. This is the new uh, Planeswalker Legendary rule. You now can have several of these in game, as far as I can tell, um, as long as they don't have the same name. Right, it's a bit confusing, a bit silly. For Jace, I can I can maybe understand that since he can uh, make illusions and copies of himself, but still, the rest is just uh, mind-boggling to me. All right, abilities plus two, put two plus one plus one counters on up to one target dinosaur you control. All right, uh, minus three. Target dinosaur you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. Oh, that's nice. That's actually nice with the 9-9 nine, nine, uh, ancient Bronto, Bro, Bro, Brontosaurus thingy? I don't know. Uh, minus 7 dinosaurs you control get plus 4, plus 4 until end of turn. Sweet, as if dinosaurs needed to be bigger. Ha! Huh. Uh, that's actually uh, not too bad, actually. I, uh, I like that planeswalker. I like it a lot. Right, so how are you guys... Um, how did you guys fare with the pre-release? I did quite well. I got my Commander Beckett Brass. And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's really all I needed. Because I want to make a deck with Admiral Beckett Brass. Commander deck. And I also have the uh, Revel in Riches and um, some other nifty little pirates. So my deck is well on its way. Right, let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, well, we start off with um, our first rare, Sun Blessed Mount, uh, which is 5 mana 4-4. Four, four. It's um, one of the rares that you only get from this deck. When Sun Blessed Mount enters the battlefield, you may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Huatli Dinosaur Knight. Reveal it and then put it into your hand. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. Like I, um, like I say many times, each of these decks have these kind of search cards. Goring Ceratops. Of course, a Triceratops. Uh, double Strike, 3-3. Three, three. For 7 mana. Uh, whenever Goring Ceratops attacks, other creatures you control gain for a double strike until end of turn. Nice, nice, nice. Burning Sun's Avatar. This is, I believe, the Buy a Box promo. Um, it's uh, 6 mana for a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, it deals 3 damage to target opponent and 3 to up to 1 target creature. Very nice. Uh, Kinjali's Caller. Huatli's Snaphorn, which is uh, also unique for this deck. It's a 2-mana uh, 2-2 two two with Vigilance. Nice. We get four of those. Raptor Companion. Just a vanilla Raptor. Uh, Tilonali's Knight. 
two of those frenzied raptor two of those as well and look at that guy it's really going at it uh territorial hammer skull bonded horn crest pterodon knight shining aerosaur and we get a stone quarry yet again Wow, they really don't know how to uh, mix the types up, don't they? We have a stone quarry already from Gideon, from the Amonkhet set. So yeah, there's not really anything new. Mountain! Another mountain with Jace looking for where the hell he is, or who he is. Another mountain. Oh, that looks highly un uncomfortable. Yeah, you wouldn't want to live there and uh, fall off the stairs. More mountains. Plains. There is Jace again. Looking for where he is. Right, then we have Huatli's Spurring, also uh, unique to the deck. It's one mana instant. Uh, target creature gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. If you control a Huatli Planeswalker, that creature gets plus four, plus zero until end of turn instead. Sweet. That's very nice. You get three of those. Slash of Talons. All right, they really like to uh, put Huatli in uh, in all of the uh, in a lot of art, you know. It's uh, very cool. Lightning Strike. Hey, I've seen that card before. This is a reprint. Rallying Roar. All right, and we have another Kinjali Collar. Right, on to the boosters. Most exciting part. So what 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 would I like? I like the the blue counterspell that uh, generates. Uh, treasure. I would like that. Yes. Or maybe a planeswalker. Yeah, Jace or uh, Vraska. That would be nice. Or one of the double lands. The, the flip lands. Oh, that would be nice as well. All right. Start off with the commons. Oh, I love these vampires as well. My god, this is a great set. I love it. I love it all. Right, we have a dire fleet captain. Look at him. Orcs. Nice. Wanted Scoundrels. Call to the Feast. And a rare is... Another Goring Ceratops. Huh. An island. And we have a foil. Sure Strike. And a token. Merfolk. Which is Hexproof. And finally... Another, the other booster. All right. Huh. All right, we start off with the Imperial Lancer, a River Sneak. And a Danto Vanguard and a rare is the Ripjaw Raptor, which is 4 mana for a 4-5. It has Enrage, so that means whenever it is dealt damage, something happens, and in this case, draw a card. Sweet. We have a Mountain and yet another treasure. Uh, this is, uh, I believe, the Pirate Treasure. Like I said, all the... Um, no, wait, I didn't say that yet. All the treasures have different art, so each tribe has their own treasure. I believe this is the pirate art. Yes. That is very nice. Um, yeah, I'm uh, going back to the store right now, and um, I'm going to uh, play my second pre-release. So, uh, hopefully I'll get some uh, something nice out of that. Um, look forward to seeing a video of Admiral back at Brass. I will make a sweet commander deck with that. And then later on this year I will make a dinosaur deck. Three color dinosaur deck. And obviously she is going in there. Yes. Oh. I love it. I love that they printed this stuff. Well, all in all, not too bad. 
Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.